All right, folks. So I've got kits from HA Motorsports and got a couple of different ones here. PWM Boost Kit, VTEC Kit for the 11F0 motherboard. We have extra resistors, one of the big capacitors, Honda socketing set, full socketing set for other tuners. This is a Honda OBD1 ECU. You can tell by the three sockets. American OBD1 ECUs are rectangular. The Japanese models are square, kind of similar to the OBD2 US ECUs. The identifier is in the middle of the board and you're gonna look at the last four digits. On this one, it says 11F0. There are two other iterations and I'll list those here. All right, before we do anything with modifying the board, we're actually gonna re remove the board from the ECU case. It's got a number of Phillips head screws. Like this is a motherboard screw. Also has a washer on it. And these are the screws used for the ECU's lids. All right, so let's show you what consists of the 11F0 VTEC conversion kit. This kit is sourced from HA Motorsports. So first thing we're gonna do is identify the components that we're gonna need here. So this right here is a jumper. It is a zero ohm resistor that we're gonna use to jump at the J10 connection. And we'll point out where all that is. And to identify this, this is a uh, kind of like a tan or brown uh, resistor with a single black stripe indicating that it is zero ohm. So this is effectively a jumper. So you can even just use a, uh, a single wire uh, as a jumper as well. For a capacitor and ensure that you install it in the proper area, it's gonna be C60. And you wanna ensure that the positive side is soldered into the positive connection. All right, next is a PMP transistor. transistor. This is labeled B1030. It'll get installed at the Q101 location on the board, which is right here. The transistor needs to be facing you, which means the front label on the ECU, which is here, but facing towards you. So it'll get installed as such, like this, at Q101. Next is a high side switch. This is the SK5151S. Uh, this gets installed at IC14 like so last is a diode so this is the black with gray stripe notice the gray stripe uh, side faces the ecu plug and this gets installed at d11 right here and you notice the direction that the diode is pointing so you want to install this as such the next bit's gonna be, you can go about this two ways. One, you can just go straight to desoldering the board, or two, you can also kind of clean some of the uh, laminate off of the board. Some uh, folks like to do this because when you go to desolder, it can cause some of this like laminate to uh, bubble up. This is not a necessary step. However, you can use non-oil based cleaners uh, to help remove, you know, this, uh, coating and you can just do it in the general area where you need to again it's not required but it can make for a cleaner we're going to desolder all of the locations to install this kit or i'll be using a standard solder sucker it's from radio shack number 64-2060b i've had this solder sucker probably for 20 years you can also use solder braid to remove that solder however it is a little more time consuming There we go. Next, we're gonna do IC14, J10, and C60. Now you can see where there's the other. We're gonna go for these five. <sighs> This is a trial and error thing, so it takes more than a, takes a few passes sometimes. I'm 
There we go. like they are all in. Yep. Let me get that other one pushed down a little further. We're going to put the capacitor in there now and as you note you can see there's a plus and a minus on there you want to match that to the board so we're going to turn this over and it's going to go right through just like so i secure it in place so make it a little easier it's going to bend that like so we're going to take the jumper doesn't matter which way this goes Pull that one through. Just like that. Push that capacitor down a little more. All right, next is the transistor, and we want the label facing towards us. Just like so, and you can drop it all the way down. I'm gonna make it stay in place, just bend the legs opposite of each other, just like so. I'm gonna get these out of the plate, out of the way. We'll snip all those. Once it's secured in place. There we go. Looks good. Now for the diode. We're gonna match it. Silver label towards the plugins, matching the board, pointing towards the plug. There we go. Now we'll clip the ends. Fun to clip them pretty close to the board. Now if you clean this rosin off the board before you do any of the, uh, or this coating off the board before you do any kind of soldering, you'll more likely avoid getting that kind of messy melted look. But you know, there's no lifted tracks, so that's good. Everything looks like it's good and filled in and that right there is a VTEC ready or that is a conversion from PO6 to a P28 or a PO6 with VTEC.